I'll tell you, they really looked pathetic. They looked like they were just off the farm. But most of them, half of them didn't have no suitcases. They just had big bundles, you know, wrapped up in a sheet or something, you know, clothes they traveled, that's the way they traveled. That's the way they came up. They were coming up by the hundreds. And that wasn't just one day, that was <laughs> for year in and out. Now you see, when we got ready to go, I, I bought a ticket to go on the ship from Jacksonville to New York. There were about a half a dozen young men like me getting ready to go. And a fellow that was at the dock, he walked up to us. He said, look, all of y'all can't leave here at one time because they won't let you go. He got all those men together. He said, now I'm going to take all you together at one time. And what they had to do at a certain time at the dark of night, they had to go to the outskirts of the city on a railroad spur, and they had put an old raggedy car on that railroad spur. He said at a certain time, he was going to be on that car. He knew when everything was ready. He was going to light a, a cigarette on the deck of that old car. And the men that was hidden, my father was one, they were hidden in the bushes alongside of that thing. When he lit that cigarette, all of them got right up and went and got in that car. And everybody was quiet and not a light or anything. I beg you, baby, to treat me right. Now I'm going to leave you, honey, tomorrow night. I'll be gone, long gone. Never come back no more. Well, I just long for the name of Philadelphia. I just love the name Philadelphia. And so I accept to come this place. So we had to go out there to get the train coming now. Now everybody, all of us tried to go ahead. They didn't want nobody to come and they let, had a seat. We all had to, got to have a seat, but the whole gang of them didn't have any seat, but they hid when the man come through the check-in seat. They would be hide under the seat and like that, and that's the way we got away from there. And I, uh, every big uh, city to come to, they would, uh, Cut off a car, you know, leave a car there. They could, like, with a change an engine, they would leave a car there. So we found that out. So me and the three other fellows, we, we found that out. And we, we changed cars. <laughs> so we got to the nail, the last car. And we went to the, the last car, we put it off at P.O. to Pennsylvania. And that's where we... <laughs> You were supposed to stay in that camp if you wanted to. If you didn't, if you could get away, you'd go on. And that afternoon, when we arrived here, me and two or three more fellows, we'd come on in the city. And we stayed at the Y for a while, down here on Christmas Street. And I was there when I met this hotel man and got hired. And the next day, I was gone. Didn't do much work that winter. 
because it snowed the whole winter. We had snowing from Thanksgiving, snowed till March every night, every day. That spring, I got a job on Hog Island. And we were digging down in the muck. We thought we were digging rock, and it was ice. Thank you.